Okay, here we are back behind the panels. Let me get a good angle on it here. Now you can see this black conduit. This just houses the wire that goes in to each junction box. This is called a junction box here. Let's see if the light will adjust so you can see this. Okay, so you can see the red is coming in. That's the hot. It's going to this terminal here. All right. You see this white that's actually coming in is negative, but it is going to the positive. If you can see in there, right in here is positive. So we're connecting negative to negative, positive to positive. I'm sorry, negative to positive, positive to negative. And that's how we're getting our series wiring. Uh, and this terminal right here, that's made specifically for series wiring. Okay, and that's why you see that there. So the positive comes in here to this terminal. The negative goes to actually what is the positive terminal here. And then this negative goes in. This will go into the next solar panel, which is right here. You can see that this, that was the white wire. It's coming in here and it's actually going to the positive terminal, okay? Hope you can follow that, it's a little confusing. But you can see we actually tape this off as red. Starts off as negative, but we tape it off as red because we're connecting it to the positive. Uh, you can also see in there, right here, the blocking diodes, okay? This one has six blocking diodes. Um, I think you'll generally want at least three in your system. And it doesn't matter too much where those are as long as they're wired into the circuit. I've seen them both on the positive and the negative side. You can see we've got some on the positive terminal here and on the negative terminal up here. So it doesn't matter so much. So this is the end of the string. This is the last panel. You can see then we have this gray conduit. And it comes out. And we'll trace it along here. comes out, goes down the wall here. This is our shed where we store all of our gear. And then it comes in here, okay? And if you probably can't see through this tangle of wires, but the hot wire, the positive, actually ends up here. Okay, so two strings, the one we just looked at comes in here, and then the other string comes in right here. So this is wired in parallel. And then you can see two fuse buses right here. That's a big fuse. So this is wired in parallel. So the two strings are wired in parallel to each other. The, the panels within each string are wired in series, but the two strings are in parallel. And down here, it's another very important item, lightning arrestor. Uh, these are cheap and well worth the money. The idea is that if this unit were, the solar panels were struck by lightning, that it would stop right there. Uh, that's the theory. I'm, I'm very curious if that's the <laughs> actually, yeah, actual practice too. Let's hope so. Okay. And this is just your basic uh, uh, disconnected fuse box. Nothing special here. But whenever we're working inside, I generally disconnect this so that the, the solar PV isn't running. Um, right now the sun is shining. You can see it's sunny out here. So there's power flowing. There's power going through these solar panels and through these wires. It's very important to keep that in mind when you're working on your system. If the sun is out, there's power. So a lot of times if we're doing um, maintenance or anything like that, we'll actually put blankets or tarps over the solar panels. This is important for safety. Um, next step, we'll cover the entrance of the solar power into our um, solar shed and how it wires from there.